Moses and the Story of Exodus Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron in the night and said, Get up, get out from among my people, both you and the Israelites. Go, serve the Lord as you have requested. Also, take your flocks and your herds, just as you have requested, and leave, but bless me also. The Egyptians were urging the people on, in order to send them out of the land quickly, for they were saying, We are all dead. So the people took their dough before the yeast was added, with their kneading troughs bound up, in their clothing on their shoulders. Now the Israelites had done as Moses, told them they had requested from the Egyptians silver and gold items and clothing. The Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and they gave them whatever they wanted. And so they plundered Egypt. The Israelites journeyed from Ramesses to Sukkoth, they were about 600,000 men on foot, plus their dependents. A mixed multitude also went up with them, and flocks and herds a very large number of cattle. They baked cakes of bread without yeast, using the dough they had brought from Egypt, for it was made without yeast, because they were thrust out of Egypt and were not able to delay. They could not prepare food for themselves either. Now, the length of time the Israelites lived in Egypt was 430 years. At the end of the 430 years, on the very day, all the regiments of the Lord went out of the land of Egypt. It was a night of vigil for the Lord to bring them out from the land of Egypt. And so on this night, all Israel is to keep the vigil to the Lord for generations to come. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, This is the ordinance of the Passover. No foreigner may share in eating it, but everyone's servant who is bought for money, after you have circumcised him, may eat it. A foreigner and a hired worker must not eat it. It must be eaten in one house you must. Not bring any of the meat outside the house, and you must not break a bone of it. The whole community of Israel must observe it. When a resident foreigner lives with you and wants to observe the Passover to the Lord, all his males must be circumcised, and then he may approach and observe it, and he will be like one. Who is born in the land that no uncircumcised person may eat of it. The same law will apply to the person who is native born, and to the resident foreigner who lives among you. So all the Israelites did exactly as the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron. And on this very day, the Lord brought the Israelites out of the land of Egypt by their regiments. Thank you for watching. God bless you.